It was 1996 when I first saw and played this game, Star Wars Rebel Assault 2. While some complained that the game was a lowly rail shooter, I didn't care. After all, it was Star Wars. Being a huge Star Wars fan, I quickly fell in love with the game. Indeed, this game had both cutscenes and the soundtrack from the Star Wars universe, as well as live action sequences. Best of all, I got to blow up TIE fighters to my heart's content. Needless to say, I absolutely love this game. With Batocero Emulation Station, it sure would be nice to relive and replay this classic game in high definition graphics. Now then, once you start playing it, all is well and dandy until we get to the end of Chapter 7. Suddenly, we are faced with this screen. We have to swap CDs, but unfortunately, there's not an obvious solution to continue a gameplay. How do you swap this? This is a question I've seen repeatedly asked on the Batocero forums, Batocero Facebook pages, and as well as emulation forums. The good news? There is a rather simple solution to swap CDs in emulation. In fact, in this tutorial, I will show you how to swap discs for four different consoles. Let's do it. everyone and welcome to Batocero Nation. So as promised, today we're going to be looking at how to change your disc games for your gaming consoles. And specifically we're going to be looking at examples for PlayStation 1, Sega Saturn, Sega CD, and GameCube. And this in turn should give you an idea how to do it for the other gaming consoles. All right, so let's get started. All right, so we have here uh, CD1 and CD2 for Rebel Assault 2, right? Okay, so make sure you have a keyboard attached to your Vato Center system. Go ahead and press Escape and then F1. All right, let's go into the ROMs folder. Let's go into the PlayStation 1 folder. All right, so we have here Star Wars Rebel Assault CD1 and CD2. All right, go ahead and select this one. Go into Rename. Okay, and right there, that's the title of the game. Hit Control C to copy. And then cancel that. And then going to create a new empty file. Okay, click on that. Control V, paste it. And then the extension is going to be M3U. It will always be M3U. Okay, hit enter. All right, so there we go. We got the file. It's empty right now. Go ahead, once again, select this. Uh, pretend you're going to rename it. Select the whole thing. Control C copy. Okay. And now let's go back over here and then paste it. Go ahead and paste it. Okay. So you notice here I got the chat format. Um, if you have a different format, I highly encourage you to convert it to a chat format. Uh, in fact, I have a video uh, that I did, the last one I did was about game compressions. Okay, and I talked about the chat format. Now, that's the reason why I did that one first. Uh, because I found out that the best way to do this is convert these into chat formats, okay? So if you don't know how to do it, take a look at my channel uh, and then look for that video about compressing your game files, all right? All right, so the second line here, make sure you put disk two, okay? Enter, have an empty space there, and then file, save, and quit. Okay, so let's go ahead now, get out of this, close window. Okay, on your gamepad, press start, go into game settings, update games list, yes. All right, let's go and look for our PlayStation, there it is. All right, so there's our extra file that we created, okay, and then the CD1 and CD2. We can go ahead and hide these because we don't no longer need them. So, so go ahead, press select. Go into Game Options. Go into Edit this game's metadata. And then go ahead and hide it. Save it. Go to the second one. Do the same thing. Press Select. Go into Game Options. 
going to edit this game metadata and I go up and to find this select that and save it okay so now we have just this one by itself okay that m3.u file all right so let's go ahead and scrape this little baby press start scrape and just go ahead and scrape now start It shouldn't take that long. Okay. Backspace. Game settings. Update games list. Yes. All right. So there it is. All right. So now we can go ahead and select it. First thing is first. We need to press select on the game pad. And then go down to game options. And then go down to advanced game options. Okay. Because we have to select the emulator. So it turns out that not all the emulators work well with the disk changing format. Uh, for this particular console, I know that this one works really well. So you might have to experiment with the different uh, uh, emulators out there. So I'm going to go ahead and select Duck Station, the Retro Archer version. Okay. And go ahead and select the game. Okay, so here we have the game. Press start. Okay, as you can see there, I've got several saves there. And I happen to know for a fact that chapter 8 is part of CD number 2. So let's go ahead and select chapter 8. Now it's asking me to choose disk number two. So on your gamepad, press the hot key and then the A key at the same time. The hot key and the A key. And that will bring me up to the Retro Arch menu, okay? Uh, from there, make sure you select disk control, okay? And then from there, go into current disk index. And then I go to number two. And then insert disk. And that does it. And there it goes. Rebel Control, this is Escort Leader on approach. Chapter 8, this is number 2. So it works. Okay. All systems operational. No contact report. Sensors. Wait. Okay. All right, so now if I want to load up again, it's going to go automatically to disk number 2. See that? Okay, you can see there that it loaded up automatically disk number two and it's asking me for disk number one. I suspect the reason why it's doing this because I use cheats uh, in the game. Uh, and I suspect if you use, if you play it regularly and you get to disk number two naturally, it shouldn't give you this message. So let's just go ahead and change it back to disk number one. Press hot key in the A key. Uh, go up, go into disk control. Current disk, go into number one, insert disk. And, uh, and there it goes. Okay. All right. So again, that's how it is done. All right, let's go ahead and get out of this. All right, so those are normal settings to swap your disk with a RetroArch for Duck Station. However, if you are a big Star Wars fan and you really want to play this game, turns out unfortunately the duck station is not compatible with this game of all games uh, so there's a solution to that but it will require a keyboard to play which is unfortunate until they fix this all right so this is what you need to do go into uh, game options again advanced game options select duck station the standalone version okay and let's get out of this escape press f1 Go into Applications, go into Duck Station. Okay, so here's the game. 
right? So go ahead and select this one. Go into properties and go into this tab, okay? And then for DMA max slice ticks, choose type 100. And for the DMA hall ticks, type 150. And close it out. Same thing for the other one. Properties. Go into this tab. Go into max slice ticks, 100. Uh, hall ticks, 150. That fixes it. Okay. Uh, and just go ahead and exit. Close the window. Okay. Let's go in there again. Let's go ahead and select the game. So, with the keyboard, press Alt-Tab, and that will bring you to this, okay? And then Alt-S, and then you look for Change Disk, uh, and then with the right arrow key, go ahead and choose from Playlist, and Number 2. And then Alt-Tab again, and then that's it. So if you don't do that, what happens is in the game, it just freezes up. Uh, and that's the only solution that there is, unfortunately, until they fix this within Duck Station. All right? All right. So let's go ahead and proceed with Sega Saturn. All right. So we have this famous game, Panzer Dragoon Saga. All right. We have four discs in this one. All right. So let's go ahead and get out of this. Press Escape. Press F1. And now I'm going to go into the ROMs folder. All right, uh, Saturn is right there. Go ahead. Okay, so same thing. Go ahead and select this. Rename it. Pretend you're going to rename it. And we just want, we just want the, all right. Control C, cancel, right click on the empty spot, create new file. Control V, paste it, and then the extension, dot M3U. Okay. And then go ahead and select it again. Rename, select the whole thing this time. Control C, press cancel, go into the folder, file, should I say, and then Control V, 
do it four times. We've got four discs. All right, and now I'll go back up here and then change this to disc number two, disc number three, disc number four. And leave an empty space right there, and then file, save, and then we exit. Okay, let's go ahead and close this and press start game settings update games list all right uh, so then we have here the one we want I mean these here we can just go ahead and hide them all all right so go to game options and edit and just go ahead let's go up make it easier faster hide it save it go to the next one same thing Game options, advanced uh, edit this game's metadata, and go ahead and hide it, save it. All right, we'll go to the next one. Hit the select button, go to game options, go to edit this game's metadata, go up, hide it, save it. And the last one, select game options. Edit this game's metadata, go up, hide it, and save it. All right. All right, so for the time being, we're not going to worry about scraping this game. So go ahead on your gamepad, select the select button. I'm going to game options. I'm going to advanced game options. Okay, so for this one, among the three emulators that works the best is this one, the Beatles Saturn version. Okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and select the game. Okay, so I have in this particular game, I've got some saves as well. All right, I've got some here from the Turner RAM, and I got some from here from the cartridge RAM. Okay, so as an example, let's go to level 32. All right, so it's telling me to switch to disc number two. So again, press the hot key and then the A key. And that will bring me to going to right here, disc control, eject disc, current disc index, and I want number two, insert disc. Okay, from there, go ahead, select start application. Woo! Back to the main menu, start, continue. It's going to, you have to repeat the process again. And then select level 32, and it should load it up. And there it is. Okay, let's get out of this. Going back to disc number two. Continue. And let's say I want to go to level ninety nine. Okay, tell me to switch to disc number four, hot key, and then the A button. I'll go up here and then go into disc control, eject, current disc index, and I want number four, and insert disc. That's it. Once again, start application. You should load it up. Select it again, level 99, it should load up.
There it is. Okay. Let's go ahead and get out of this. All right, now let's go to Sega CD. I've got Dracula Unleashed, this number one and number two. All right, so for this one, turns out that the M3U file extension doesn't really work, okay? So uh, I'm gonna, as an example, go into this number two, okay? I don't have any saves for this one, so I'm gonna show you how it should work. Press start. Should tell me to switch it back to this number one right there, okay? Um, so let's pretend let's pretend you actually have selected this number one and you're playing the game and you got to this uh, section where it says change it to disc number two. So go ahead and press hot key and then the A button. Once again, go into disc control, go into load new disc, okay? Go into load new disc and it's asking me for number one, right? Uh, but suppose it was asking for number two, you go there. Okay, so I'll go now to number one. Okay, and insert disk. You notice that automatically. So, again, for this one, you're gonna have to just leave them the way they are, okay? You may want to, uh, hide this one and just keep the first one okay uh, and then scrape it uh, and then it should automatically load up when you do the hot key all right okay now let's go into gamecube okay i got resident evil disc number one and disc number two there's some more steps we have to do for this one here okay so let's go ahead and press escape press f1 Go into applications, go into the dolphin emulator, go into configs, and then right here, change this automatically. Make sure that is selected. Okay, close that out, close that out, exit. Now go into the ROMs, go into the GameCube folder. All right, let's go ahead and change the view of this. All right, so I have this, these two files right here, okay? So once again, I'm gonna go ahead, pretend I'm renaming them, and just go into Resident Evil, Control C, copy, cancel, create new file, empty file, Control paste, dot M3U, once again, Right, go ahead and select this right here. Rename, select the whole thing. Control C, cancel. Go into the file, paste it, paste it, and then go that to number two. And, all right, and then the file, save. Now it turns out if you try to, to load this up, it actually won't work. Okay, uh, from the actual standalone application it will work but within Batocera uh, it doesn't work okay in fact let me go ahead and show you start game settings update games list okay you can see there that the the file we created is not there okay it's not reading it go ahead and escape press F1 let's go into the ROMs folder let's go into the game cube you go over here, you can see here that the M3U extension is not included, okay? But I know for a fact the Dolphin will in fact read it. So we have to add it in there, into the Batocera system, okay? Now to do that, you have to go into, let's go and share, let's go up one level. Oh, make sure that this is, show heading is selected, okay? All right, so then we go to the root folder go into this folder here, go into share, 
go into emulation station and right there systems this is the file we want to copy copy let's go back go to share let's go into system go into configs right here go into emulation station and paste it okay now I gotta select this and let's do a search control F GameCube and there it is okay here's where we have to add the extension right here space dot m3u okay save it now it's gonna now it should read it properly let's go ahead and quit and let's go ahead and get out of this and press start game settings update games list and voila there it is right, so go ahead and let's hide these right here we don't need them go into game options edit this game's metadata go up hidden yes save yes let's go to the second one same thing game options event uh, edit get this game's metadata go up hidden yes save that okay okay so let's go ahead and load it up Okay, load it up. We'll press start. Okay, we're going to load game. I've got some games saved here. And I'm going to go to number five right here. It's saved already. See that? It changes it automatically automatically done for you. Look at that. It worked perfectly. Okay. And that's how it's done. For GameCube and Wii for that matter. Okay, let's go ahead and get out of this. Okay, so that is a wrap. Uh, you may have to experiment with the different emulators, uh, but the format is always the same. You know, create an M3U file uh, and from there I go ahead and add in the different file names you have to all right uh, and then you should have it up and running in no time all right I hope you found this uh, tutorial useful if you did go ahead please like if you're not a subscriber go ahead and consider subscribing I've got more tutorials coming up in fact my next tutorial uh, is about Windows games <clears throat> I've been asked a lot what happens if you try to install a Windows game that doesn't have a set of file how do you do it there is a way to do that okay so we're going to do that and then also we're going to look into later on into adding dos games as well all right so those are the two tutorials coming up real soon hopefully this week all right thank you for watching and i'll see you next time on batos at a nation bye